You are welcome once again to Mathematics Solution Center. We really appreciate your support. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please kindly click the subscription button and don't forget to like and share. Today we are looking at another polynomial equation, a cubic equation. I can say that this is the most complex and cubic equation that you will ever come across. Let's take a look at the question. P of x is equal to ax raised to power 3 plus 5x squared plus bx minus 2 is divided by 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. The remainder is 9x minus 6. Find A and B. Number 2, factorize P of x. And number 3, find the remainder when P of x is divided by 3x plus 1. Solution, f of x is equal to ax raised to power 3 plus 5x squared plus bx minus 2 is divided by 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. I'm not going to divide this, but I just want to rephrase the question so that I will not forget what is written there. And the remainder is equal to 9x minus 6. We are going to make use of remainder theorem. That is, f of a is equal to the remainder. But it is not possible for us to substitute the whole of this inside the polynomial expression. We are going to factorize 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 equal to 0. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to substitute each of the factors inside the polynomial expression and equate it to the remainder expression. Divide through by minus 2. We are going to repeat the same process by substituting the other factor of the divisor in the polynomial. Let's multiply through by 8. We are going to substitute this in place of A in equation 1. A is equal to minus 6 minus 4b. Therefore, a is equal to minus 6 minus 4 into bracket minus 3. a is equal to minus 6 minus 4 times minus 3 plus 12. a is equal to 6. We've gotten the values of a and b. We are going to substitute in our polynomial equation p of x. At this particular stage, let us check and see maybe we are right or wrong. How do we check? We are going to substitute f of minus 2, which is one of the factors of the divisor, and equate it to 9x minus 6.
6 into bracket minus 2 raised to power 3 plus 5 into bracket minus 2 squared minus 3 into bracket minus 2 minus 2. My answer is supposed to be equal to 9 into bracket minus 2 minus 6. This is 6 into bracket minus 8 plus 5 into bracket 4 plus 6 minus 2 is equal to minus 18 minus 6. Minus 48 plus 20 plus 4 is equal to minus 24. This is minus 48 plus 24 is equal to minus 24. Minus 48 plus 24 is actually minus 24 is equal to minus 24. That means we are right, we are correct. So the next thing to do at this particular stage now is to factorize the polynomial. We've gotten the value of a and b. a is equal to 6, while b is equal to minus 3. The first thing we are going to do, we are going to start by trying an error. If f of minus 1 is equal to 0, it shows that x plus 1 is the factor of the polynomial. Minus 6 plus 5 is minus 1 plus 3 minus 2, 1. The answer is equal to 0. Therefore, we've succeeded to prove that x plus 1 is a factor of the polynomial. Since x plus 1 is a factor, we are going to divide p of x by x plus 1 in order to reduce it to a smaller equation. x plus 1. This x cubed divided by x, I have 6x squared. Now we are going to multiply by 6x squared. Multiply x plus 1 by 6x squared. 6x squared times x, I have 6x cubed. 6x squared times 1, I have plus 6x squared. Let's subtract. 5x squared minus 6x squared. I'm going to have minus x squared. 6x cubed minus 6x cubed, that is 0. We will bring down minus 3x. And we divide again. Minus x squared divided by x, I have minus x. Let's use minus x to multiply x plus 1. So we have minus x squared minus x. We subtract again. Minus 3x minus minus x. I have minus 2x. Then we bring down minus 2. Minus 2. At this particular stage, we are going to divide by x plus 1. Minus 2x divided by x, I have minus 2. We use minus 2 to multiply x plus 1. I'm going to have minus 2x minus 2. So let's subtract. Minus 2 minus minus 2, 0. Minus 2x minus minus 2x, 0. This is another proof that x plus 1 is a factor of p of x. Now we are reducing this polynomial to this. We are going to factorize this to get the other roots as this. Therefore, the factors of the polynomial are x plus 1, 3x minus 2, and 2x plus 1. The remaining question is, what will be the remainder if p of x is divided by 3x plus 1? We can use long division method to get the remainder, but it's a long process. A more faster method to use is a remainder theorem. 
I'm going to evaluate f of minus 1 over 3. I will get my remainder. Minus 6 over 27 plus 5 over 9 plus 1 minus 2. This is minus 6 over 27 plus 5 over 9 minus 1. Let's find the LCM. 27 goes in 27 minus 6. 3 goes in 27. That is 3 plus 15 minus 27. 9 minus 27. Minus 18 over 27. Let's reduce this to the lowest term. 9 can go. I have minus 2 over 3. That is the answer when it is divided by 3x plus 1.